Hello everyone, this is Lillian and it's time for our three minutes with the word audio devotional. Today's topic is give up your life and our anchor scripture is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 39. If you cling to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for me, you will find it. The last day we looked at the content of Hannah's prayer and I felt the need to do one more episode on this issue of consecration and surrender. In our anchor scripture, Jesus was speaking to his disciples and invariably to you and I. He said, If you cling to your life, you will lose it. But if you give up your life for me, remember that this is Jesus speaking, you will find it. What we call the new birth is actually relinquishing lordship over our own lives and handing this over to Jesus in order that we might be saved. So we confess Jesus first as Lord and then he becomes savior. Jesus in this scripture was describing the posture that all of us should take when we come into maturity. We are to lose our lives to Jesus. In other words, we do not truly start living in the eyes of heaven until we locate the purpose Jesus has for us and submit to it. If you want an example of someone who lived a consecrated life, please study Jesus. Jesus' entire life was centered around one thing and one thing alone, his assignment from the Father. Every time I share this with people, I I often have a cohort who say to me, sure, but not everyone is called into ministry. This is false. We may not all be called into the fivefold ministry, but we are all called to an assignment. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians that we have been created in Christ Jesus for good works. There are works that have your name on it in the writings of God's kingdom. And no matter how successful you are in the eyes of the world, until you find this out, you have not truly started living. The Bible calls David a man after God's heart. Why? Because he always wanted to know what God's will was in every situation. Lord, should I fight? Lord, should I pursue? Lord, what must I do? David always inquired of the Lord. A surrendered, consecrated believer will always inquire. When I began to open my spirit up to surrender and consecration, I began to give up my own ambitions. I began to ask the Lord for his will so I could take up his own plans as my ambitions and goals. Let me say this quickly. This posture will be tested when you assume it and you will need grace to stand. I remember once I got a job that God allowed me to take. I did it and was enjoying it. It was a blessing to me financially and I also really loved it. Suddenly, it ended abruptly. I cannot tell you the pain I felt. I went to God in prayer, but you gave me this job. You allowed me to do it. So what has happened? And he said to me, did you not say that you wanted only that which I would give? My consecration was tested. My dear listeners, in such a small thing, I cannot begin to describe the pain I felt. With tears in my eye, eyes and I mean it. I actually cried. I said to the Lord, your will be done. There will be times your consecration will be tested. When God's will will conflict with yours. When you want something so badly, yet God is either silent or saying no. You will need grace for those times. One other thing I would love to mention is that to the one who is aligned, God hardly ever shows you the full picture. So it would have to be a journey of trust and dependence. One who is surrendered and consecrated will have to spend tremendous amount of time in prayer. You cannot escape it because you will need instruction every step of the way and you will only get this in prayer. I'm mindful of time, so I will stop here. But we will continue to revisit this very important topic. Until then, may the Holy Spirit open it up to you. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you so much for your word. Continue to take all the glory, almighty God, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Speak to you again soon. If you are blessed, please drop me a line on audiodevotional at yahoo.com or on our website at www.3minutesaudiodevotional.com. You could also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at 3 Minutes Audio Devotional. Remember, wrapped up in God's word is all you need for your change to come. Love you and bye.